Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa. Go ahead and subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm on here looking like this because I was in the process of doing my hair. I know it looks super weird and like I was gonna do like these silky twists, like some jumbo silky twists. And you know, like your hair can pop out of them. So I used, <laughs> I had just opened this, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's hollow. It's all the way. I used almost the whole container of this trying to slick my hair. I also, before you guys notice, I used, I don't have a box over because I did it a few days ago. But on this new Beautiful Textures Naturally Straight Kit. I don't know if y'all have seen this before. Anyways, I've used it on my kids' hair before a long time ago. Um, and my daughter's hair always goes back to her natural state every time. I don't have coarse hair anyway. They're like not like wavy. I don't know what my texture is. This is my hair pre-relaxer. I don't know what I what I was thinking because it wasn't nothing wrong with my hair. Lord, I miss you, girl. But if I don't blow out my hair, my natural texture is like really soft curly. When I blow out my hair, of course, but it's like soft curly hair. I don't know. So it's, I'm going to use this, even though this is Marley's, this is stupid. Like I didn't want, I wanted like silky twist, but instead I'm going to do some bantu knots because I'm feeling like a different vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of upset because I was supposed to be going to brunch. See, what am I doing? I was supposed to be going to brunch um i don't know if y'all know in atlanta it's this thing called rum pump rum punch brunch and they tickets go on sale all the time i got my tickets last month y'all now it's it's now it's no more tickets until like the end of july i just bought me some july tickets too they're free they're free um uh, but you just have to uh reserve your spot i guess it's a vibe. I might insert like some footage of it. I wasn't born that. But it's a vibe. And I really want to go. So I was like, you know what? By the end of the month, which is now, I'll have somebody to go with. And I don't. What am I doing? So I don't have any bobby pins. I was not prepared to do this. I was just gonna do these twists. But since I section my hair, if I wanted to do something else, I would literally have to wash my hair and blow dry and do all this stuff over again. I think I think we're gonna keep going. Let's trust the process, okay? Let's trust the process. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna trust the process. I think I'm gonna continue to do my hair and play with these because it's really not that much of a tutorial that I can do. And we're going to fill these out and we're going to come back when I'm done because I'm going to have to keep like, this is not, that's not giving yet. But in the meantime, um, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show y'all what I've been up to the last couple of days. I'm going to run that footage. So we're going to run it back real quick. And then when I finish that, I'll be back and I'll be finished with my hair. I'm about to leave these kids. I'm about to leave these kids. I just need to put some mascara on and some lip gloss. But this is me tonight. This shirt on Shein very long ago. Oh, my bra is crooked. I'm going to fix that. It already got boobs, y'all. I wear A. It's the bras. But this bra, on, I mean, got this shirt on Shein some years ago. I got it for the sole purpose that I was going to tat this part of my arm. I was going to tat all this. And I was, I bought multiple shirts with one side, y'all, so that I can, like, flex my tats. And this is all that I did. But. 
right, listen. Hey y'all, it's like such a gloomy day and like I took, I made a bun instead of like the braid which I saw in my last video. But anyways, y'all, I am just leaving like a potential client um, for what I'm pivoting into now. I'm so excited about this new journey or whatever. And at the, like I guess meeting you wanna call it, I got put on to potentially three more clients. Listen, I am entering my bad bitch era. I'm entering about my paper era. I am entering, you know what I'm saying? Get this money era. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I'm telling you. Like, I, if y'all didn't watch my last video when I, like, slick my hair down, go watch that. Whatever it is that you want to do and that you see yourself doing in your head, it could literally come to life. Like, you can literally manifest it. I manifested this on accident. Well, it was, like, on purpose on accident. What? Like, like I purposely woke up and was like, this is a new day. This is a new time. This is a, you about to walk, act different. You finna look different. You finna, like, everything about to be different. And literally that day, everything was different. And every day since then, every day has been different. Okay, go watch it if y'all ain't seen it because I don't feel like ranting again about it now. But I can't, ooh, my lips are so chapped in order, okay, because I was talking for so long. Oh, my God. But, yeah, everything different. Everything brand new. I'm going to be acting real different. Not real. I'm still me. But y'all know what I mean when I say that. Like, I'm me at the end of the day. I'm still me. But, like, we're rebranding, baby. We're rebranding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really excited. And I'm going to tell y'all more about it once I'm, like, into the field more. But it's very exciting. It's an exciting journey. I'm happy to be working with people. And, like, I feel like this is how I'm going to make more friends, too, as well. I'm talking to people more. Getting out of my shell more. Like, this is a whole... My camera's to the die. But I'll see y'all later, y'all. Update. I think I got the hang of it. I just got to do the back ones. But I think I got the hang of it. And like, it, listen, it's given, I don't know what I look like. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I look like something. But I got the hang of it and I am about to do the rest of these. We gotta trust the vision. We gotta trust the vision, okay? We gotta, I don't know if I trust it. But then I gotta do some makeup and I'm gonna do like some jewelry and then, mm -mm. but to touch on, because I didn't say like the reason why I put the kit in my hair or whatever because at that awkward length it was very hard for me to do my hair that like when I show y'all my hair done y'all don't know the process it was very very hard for me to do my hair because it was like a short well obviously it's not short but before like I reverted it to the straight texture it was like this so it was popping out of braids it, I just couldn't I couldn't, it was popping out of braids. It was hard for me to grip when I did my twist. It was hard for me to even part my hair because when your hair is short, you're parting your hair. It keeps going back to get, I don't know. I can't explain it. But I've done my hair three times now since, since straightening it. Yeah. Yeah. So to each his own. Um, I love my hair. I love my hair texture. But when it's a little bit longer. Right now, it was a struggle, and I got stuff to do. I got people to see, I got things to do, I got work to do, and I can't just be sitting here missing out on opportunities and stuff because my hair ain't done. No. <laughs> like, no. This would have took me so much longer on my natural hair. And it's not, I don't know how to do my natural hair. I've been doing my hair my whole life. Literally have been braiding my hair since I was a teenager, been giving myself quick weeds since I was a teenager, relaxers since I was a teenager. I've done it all. I even learned how to cut my own hair because I had an undercut and a side cut. I was cutting my hair my whole life, you know? I'm trying to be in a more softer era of my life and things that don't need to be hard, don't need to be hard. And I'm sick of like, 
you know, my hair is hard sometimes. And I don't like the length that it is now to wear like a curly fro. I tried it. I'll insert a video probably if I still have it in my phone. But, okay, so I washed my hair and it's giving Norbit. I thought like, I thought we were on to something. I thought I was going to pull out my natural hair and it was going to open up like my grown woman era. This is not... I like a grandma and a baby. So now what do I do? It was like, I look 14. I'm a grown woman. Even with makeup and lashes and doing the most, with my little curly short fro, I look 14 playing in makeup. So no. So no. So no. So yeah, that is my reason. And I'm sticking to it. Sure. When it gets a little longer, then we'll go back to a natural state. And then I'll play with like my curly fro and stuff then. But until then, no baby. You know? You, do you understand? What I'm, it doesn't matter. I understand what I'm saying. I hope you get what I'm saying. Anyways, alright. I'll be right back. I got a couple more in the middle. And then we'll be right back. And we're going to see if it's given what i think it's gonna give so yeah this is the hair do you guys like it we have to trust the process let me see hold on let me pull out my little pieces let me see so this is the hair and we tried to trust the process and i think it's cute i think it's cute look Oh, my baby was pulling them. Let me make sure you can. This is the bike. Sides. And if there's like some like extra baby hairs, you know, I'll be doing too much baby hairs if I did them. Put some little curly pieces. <laughs> my lips are so chapped. But do we love it? I did that. I think I was just, I need to do it before and after because I was just ugly a few minutes ago. Before. We love it. Did y'all see my my like my like muscles and stuff? <laughs> Do you see? Oh, but I can't wear this shirt because it's gonna rain, y'all. It like messed up my whole. I got this from Shein. Probably put a bra on. But is this not so cute? And it like the hair in this top is so such a vibe, right? Right? But it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, so. And I was gonna put like another nose ring on with this. I keep saying it. I wanna take this out, but like I never take this out. But I wanna take this out and put like something else on this side, like a stud. But is this not, this is like a hit or miss. Some people like it, some people don't, mind your business, so. But I think this needs to go in order for this to sit look like. But ignore this shirt. Y'all see it again. We're gonna add like we didn't see. Let's put on something else. Y'all, I'm on my phone, so this footage is crazy. And it's dark outside. It's five o'clock. Look. How am I supposed to go anywhere? Look at this freaking tornado warnings and a branch gonna fall. Look at this. You can't even I'm on my phone, so you can't even like get the full effect of it, but like how I was supposed to go somewhere rainbows and sunshine it's like a cute little brunch how am I supposed to bro what is happening it's thundering bye y'all it's some boat Yeah, so I had to pivot and I had to go to the movies because I was like, who is gonna be, who is gonna be like in the house when I don't have to be in the house? No, but really I had already got ready. I did my hair, you know what I'm saying? I actually put a little bit of makeup on and I was like, since my plans fell through, why not go to the movies? So I went to the movies and I saw... I'm going to put it on the screen because I don't remember the name of it. It was actually a good movie.
but I got some tea, y'all. I know this is like terrible, like lighting, but y'all, when I tell you, it was a, like this was a fun, like solo movie date because one, I met a girl, she's a lot younger than me, but it's so hard to meet people, um, uh, men and women, when I look like a seven year old child. No one believes that. So I just talk to everybody when I'm out alone because you just never know. But she's a lot younger than me, like 10 years younger than me, y'all. But regardless, she was so sweet in the movies and we had like a little altercation, not with her and I, but she sat next to me and it was stuff already, trash now. Remember that. It was like a pizza box that was empty crumbs all over the seat and there was a water on the seat and the two seats that was next to me. So she had the seat next to me and there was trash right there so when she got there she was like was anybody sitting right there i was like yeah but they got up and left this was before the movie start i said yeah they got up and left i don't know what that's about and she was like we i helped her clean off the trash the trash and everything young so um actually i don't like sitting right here at night like sitting no i'm fine so, I, once I helped her clean out the trash, I was like, she was like, people are just so, like, rude. And I was like, exactly. And I was like, and actually, the person who was sitting there was Life Jennings. You know, even when your husband and days are mommy night. You know, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know, must Life Jennings. First of all, I see this man everywhere. Every time I go to Ingles, every, I see him all the time. Um, He's an asshole. And I say this, I've never spoke to him before. Well, I've said hey to him before in a grocery store and stuff when I've seen him just because I love his music. I ain't going to flex. But so he left trash in the seat right next to me. I saw him get up and leave the trash. Like he had it on his lap and he put it in the seat next to him and got up. When she came, she, we, you know, we cleared out the seat or whatever. He comes, his son, I guess is at the end of the row. He sees us cleaning this up. If that was his trash and something, I guess, still had food left in it. Why did you let us throw it away? Anyway, so he comes back in the theater finally. He was like, you text me? Somebody threw away my stuff. What do you mean somebody threw away my stuff? Where's she at? Are they still here? And then she raised her hand or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I, since I told her to throw it away, I mean, I told her that nobody was sitting there. I felt obligated to like, I'll talk if you don't, you know what I'm saying? I'll talk. So he comes, he's so like aggressive. Like, why is your personality so aggressive over trash that you left? And so he walks up to her. He's like, yeah, you threw my trash away. You know how Life Jennings talk. You threw my trash away? What is that about? I was sitting right here. There's two seats right here I paid for. And then I was like, and then she was like, no, I, I mean, I'll cash. I'll reimburse you the food. You did. It was stuff there. And I did throw it away because I paid for one of these seats. I'll reimburse you. Super sweet. Like, I'll reimburse you. She said that. No oh, man, keep it, keep it. I don't even want that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I said, well, you did. You left. I, you know, I, like, cause he acting like she did something wrong. I said, well, you did leave your trash right there. So I helped her clean it off, and um, so that's why it's probably a misunderstanding, cause she paid for this seat and you left the trash right here. I didn't leave it in. I left it in my seat. She didn't pay for this seat. I left it in my seat. I said, no, you left it in the seat right next to me because I'm the one who swept the stuff off the seat. I, I, I know where I left it. So where my water at? You threw a whole water away too? I said, it was in the seat with the with the um, the um pizza box trash or whatever box trash. I said, it was in the seat with that. So she threw that. Oh, yeah. So we I helped her clean it up. I didn't want her to feel like left out, even though I don't know this girl. And then he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I know I paid for a seat. It was in my seat. It was in my seat. And she's like, I can reimburse you. He's like, yeah, yeah. Send me a water. Give me a water. She was like, okay, well, how much is the water? I don't know how. He was like, I don't know. It's how much a water costs. And sat down. How is she supposed to send you some money? And you ain't telling her how much you paid for a water. Why are you spazzing over a water? You actually, sir, left trash in the seat. And your water was not in a seat you paid for. It was in a seat that she paid for with the other trash. So, he, we just sitting there. I look at her. She's like, she's trying to Google the water price or whatever. And then he was, she, she asked him. She was like, so, she reached over to me. She was like, so, you have a cash app, a Zelle. I want to send you the money for this stuff. Super sweet. So, you just can't go get it? The movie's on now. The movie started. You doing all this. The movie started. And I, I didn't like that. I was like, she want to watch the movie too. You left the trash right here. So she's trying to just sell you. I oh, forget it. I don't even want the water no more. Forget it. I don't even want, she can't just walk. I don't even want it no more. Why are you so angry over water that you left 
in a seat with trash. You left in a seat that you didn't pay for. Mind you, it wasn't in his seat. It was in a seat that you didn't pay for. Why are you so angry and hype and yelling at this young girl? Like, she looked young. What the hell is happening? Like, why, is your, why are you so aggressive? He wasn't yelling, but he just got an aggressive tone or whatever. So, long story short or whatever, he's talking to, I don't know, the woman next to him. He's talking back and forth to her, and he's talking loud. Like, we could, we're we sitting a seat. It's only one seat in between us. And we hear him talking. He's still talking about the water. He's still talking about the situation. Like, shut up. You, she tried to reimburse you. You say you, you, you being a crybaby. Shut up. So, eventually, she keeps looking over. And I see her, like, shaking. Like, she was, like, getting frustrated. She jumps up. And I guess she went, well, I know now that she went to go get him a water. Because I feel like he bullied her. He done bullied her by sitting there, like, being so aggressive for no reason. You still talking. She tried to reimburse you. Why are you still talking? Anyways, she went to bring him water. She came to him so sweet. Here's your water. Here's your water. So sorry about it. Uh-huh. And sat there. I was like, ew. Gross. And then this is what makes it worse. He swears that he did not have his trash in her seat. He had it in his seat. Why, when she hands him a water, he immediately puts it in her, the seat that she was supposed to pay for. She ended up, like, saying, fuck that seat and sitting next to me. Because, I guess, you know, away from him or whatever, sit in the um, empty seat next to me. He puts the stuff in a seat that he swear he didn't have the stuff in at first. And then he had another drink, I guess, from the bar or whatever. He had that in the seat, too. So, clearly, you're stupid. You're putting your stuff still in the seat that you swear you didn't have the stuff in in the beginning with. You just proved my point. As soon as he said it right there, and I said, you see, he put the stuff directly in a seat that he didn't pay for. That's what he did the first time. That's the only reason why his stuff was thrown away in the first time. It was in her seat. He is an asshole. You're supposed to have money or something. You still doing shows and you spazzing over some water. Like, that was, and, and he had, like, all his kids, I guess, with him or something. You spazzing over water? Like, you that aggressive over water? That It was your mistake. It was your mistake. You left it in her seat. And I helped her clean out the trash. It's your mistake. That was so... I was like, ew, takes off the playlist. I don't want to listen to hypothetically, of course, no more. Because you're the asshole. You're, I didn't like that at all. I felt... Ugh. I didn't like that at all. She was super sweet. So afterwards, and this is a plus, afterwards, I ran up to her and I was like, hey, you go out, you take yourself out on like solo dates? Um, and she was like, yeah. And I go to the city sometimes, too. And I was like, listen, if you ever want to go somewhere or whatever, you don't want to go alone. I was like, here's my Instagram. Gave her my um, Instagram, followed her or whatever. I was like, you know, we can get up if you want to do something because you're super sweet. And she was like, okay, cool. And, you know, and that was that. But life is in butthole. And, and hypothetically, of course, I don't like him no more because she was so nice. I could see if she had an attitude, but she was super sweet, like, talking and like why i immediately would have calmed down if i spoke to her like my voice would have been like oh, okay all right i understand you know what i'm saying he was just like it's the water in the seat shut up like shut up